you just said something that struck me. There was one coffin that was five feet long, and it was pale purple. There was another coffin that was four feet long that was pink. There was another coffin that was three feet long that was white. Just the visual on that with the father walking his girls' bodies into the funeral service, walking their little bodies in just the last hours to be buried six feet under while mommy goes to court, wheeled in in a wheelchair, even though we know she can walk, and says to the judge, I am not guilty, and says she fully understands all of her rights. This is not his first attack on celebrities, okay? You it heard is. the long list. Why is he getting probation again? I guarantee you, if some guy crashed into you, held his arm up your skirt and took a photo of your, crouch, your crotch, I would totally go to court and have him put in jail. Why is this guy any different? Why is he getting straight probation? First of all, the, what the judge did, Nancy, is took precautions to prevent future behavior. He has to have psychological testing. He's banned from the red carpet. So the judge did something. Do you really think jail was the appropriate sentence? Yes, or do you I think do. I think he should have future. been put in jail the, the, when he took a shot of America Ferrara's skirts. Yeah, I do. What about it, Rodriguez? Unfortunately, Nancy, you and other celebrities don't have any special status in the that's law. Right, he that's slapped right. the guy. We don't put people in jail point. for if slapping somebody. Had taken we don't put him in jail for slapping somebody. Sandler's skirt. In stuck France. his arm in France. up her skirt. In France. I don't care. In France. Uh, uh, Morgan guys are actually telling the police during the interview that um, once it started, it was just stabby, stab, stab in these woods. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, and then wait that young a victim, minute. Wait Abel. a minute. I take it those are the 12 year old girl's language and not your own. It was stabby, stab, the, stab. That is. That is that is the language of a 12-year-old good girl. To read the, the, the information in that police report is chilling for how childish uh, some of the talk is in that. But that's the level they took it at. Even these little girls saying, why is it that I feel no remorse? Part of me wanted her to die. Part of me wanted to live. The, their, the separation from anxiety is shocking. Meg, what do we know about Slender Man? Well, I mean, I've seen the photos. I've seen the drawing. And let's see, show them, Liz, if we've got it. The drawing that her father posted, she drew Slenderman. He was so proud of her drawing this go psycho character. He actually post there it is. He posted this online. She had he drawn it on a napkin with a crayon when they were out to dinner, and he was so proud of it. He posted. Oh, I hear Meg. Go ahead, Meg. What do we know <laughs> about the lore of Slenderman? Uh, Slenderman is a uh, fictitious characters developed back in about 2009 uh, by someone. It got picked up by Creepypasta and sort of morphed into a much larger than life character. And there's a lot of mythical beliefs surrounding it. And, and you know, these girls weren't the only young people that wonder if Slenderman is possibly real. Mark Class, I know it's wrong, but I only wish that you got your hands around his neck. I only wish that you had... Mark Class, oh, you know what this father is feeling ten times over. Weigh in. Well, indeed I do, Nancy. You know, this is a, it's a sterile situation. He's in a courtroom. Uh, a motion is devoid in the courtroom, or should be. Everything is technical. This, this punk who abused his daughter, his daughter who he always told that he would be able to protect, and he found out he couldn't protect her in the, in, in, in the safety of a school. Um, I, I completely understand where this man was coming from. It's the emotion, most emotional moment of his life, and he simply wanted this coward to take a look at him so he could understand the, 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 the agony that he had wrought upon this family. To Dr. Bill Mannion, medical examiner, forensic pathologist, doctor, how is being distracted, how does that affect a driver's reaction time? 
Well, it, it significantly increases the reaction time. And when you're driving a truck at 40 or 50 miles an hour, you're covering hundreds of feet in a very short time. And that's why they're constantly reminding us, don't text and drive. Don't, don't look at I don't can't look believe at it. Don't look drive. at don't, porn. Don't,